Why only bo- the top of my head ain't Be- going? Man, stop it. Bruh. I want all of me to the show. The video done started and you acting up. You need to do your, do better. Can you see yourself now? I can. The people want to see me. What's up, family? It's Chris and you're watching Bad Outside TV. I got my dad with me today. Coach of all coaches. And y'all already know the deal, so we're going to get right into it. Versetti23 said, hey, Chris, could you please react to this interview of an Australian legend that only recently died? Also, a huge shout out to Ned Kelly. Thanks. Okay. The best part is right at the end, by the way. Okay. But anyways, the name of the video is Chopper Red Interviewed by Renee Brack. Okay. Nothing more, nothing less to say. So you guys already know the deal. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Hit that notification bell. Get notified when I upload and subscribe to join the family. But as always, you know, I won't take care of you, but... He will give you good advice. Now let's get into the video. Mark Brandon Reed, also known as Chopper Reed, has spent 17 of his 37 years on this, the wrong side of the law. When he was released from jail last... What? What? The wrong side of the law. So this guy has been in jail for 20 ye- How many? 17, 17 out of his 37 years. So that's 20 years this guy been in jail? No, he's been in out seven, 20 years. He's been in 17. Okay. I didn't get it. Last year, he wrote a best-selling book and said he was finished with crime. Ten days ago, Chopper Reed told me the same thing face to face. I'm 37 years old, yeah. I don't do those things anymore. Those things he's referring to are a long list of ugly crimes. From petty rubbish to uh, murder, arson. <laughs> Wait a minute. He said murder. He said matter. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're, are we? We are we reacting to a video of a murderer? Well, what? What's going on? I don't know. There's no heads up or nothing. Just react to this video. Yep. I'm a murderer. He's yep. a murderer. Yep. He did petty. What is it? Petty? Petty crimes. Petty, petty to crimes. Murder. Up to murder. Malicious wounding. Has he given up a life of crime? Just four days after this interview, Mark Brandon Chopper Reed was once again arrested and charged. This time with attempted murder. So. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold it. He just told his lady he was finished with crime. Four days later, he arrested again. Why is he an Australian legend? Well, we're going to find out. He said what, towards the end? He said the best part is at the end. He didn't. Well, maybe that's when we're going to find out. Well, let's see. It happened right here in Evandale, the tiny village in Tasmania that Chopper frequents to drink at the Clarendon Hotel. It is alleged Sydney Michael Collins left the hotel with Chopper and 15 minutes later, Collins was maliciously wounded. Could Chopper have done it? Well, he is one of Australia's most notorious criminals. Chopper then demonstrated the accuracy of his marksmanship. I'm a very, very good shot. Yeah. Very brave. Be with a murderer. In a murderer. A murderer. Okay. In the woods. A uh, murderer. I don't know what accent that is now. <laughs> it ain't close. <laughs> Would you like me to show you how to shot? Yeah. All right, I'll get my young assistant, Trent. Grab that bottle. Get over there. This place is played by the hour. Once Chopper got started, there was no stopping him. Will we have a go? Show you? Okay. Will I show you? All right. Uh, why would he... Well, he trusts he trust Chopper. But he you know what? Chopper. If you shoot something, the glass gonna fly, so ain't the glass gonna get on him? Nah. Hold it up, clear. Yeah, let's just see if the gun works first. Oh, the gun works nicely. Yep, I'm a crack shot. So how long's it taken you to be a shot like that? Oh, for most of my life. 
Chopper started a new life in Tasmania primarily because it has the laxest gun laws in the country. Why does he have so many guns? He claims there are as many as 25 contracts out on his life. There's two serious ones. Uh, the rest are all jokes, don't worry about them. The contracts that the Italians put out on me, uh, they're just good for a giggle. But it's not only for reasons of self-protection that Chopper insists on surrounding himself with so much weaponry. Because I have a, a great interest in keeping the rabbit population down. I feel that it's my duty to keep the rabbit population down. I know a lot of, I know a lot of human rabbits too. <laughs> While in Pentridge Prison, Chopper alleges he cut off his own ears in an attempt to be removed from H Division. You don't have ears like Mickey Mouse, that's for sure. Can you tell us what happened to your ears? You're a bit personal there, aren't you? <laughs> if I shot you in the kneecap, Renee, we're entering Logie territory. <laughs> <laughs> She ain't laughing. Because <laughs> you're a murderer. <laughs> you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I shot you in the knee, yeah, I'd be like, all right, that's the end of the end of Yeah, you, you do realize you're a murderer. You, you, you got the, the, the shotgun on your shoulder, mate. You're a murderer. Right. She's not laughing, mom. Uh-uh, you done added two very, different things in one. She's afraid, mate. You're the only journalist, isn't it? He cut his own ears off. What do you do to you? Right. Better crack up my ears, you cheeky young bugger. And he was rude. To crack up my ears. You cut them off. What's wrong with you? From H Division to hospital. Was it to prove a point to a war? No, no, just to prove get out of H Division. And then everyone else thought there was something uh, to be gained. And, and, uh, and they all started cutting off their ears. And a couple of characters cut off their... And they all start cutting off their ears like boy bye. I guess they was tired of being in jail. So they like, I might as well go to the hospital. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got nothing to say. I'm just laughing. All right, go ahead. Uh, I bailed out of the gang with the dicky. I just didn't want to miss the rest of the story laughing over it. Okay. Start hitting the pavement, you know, I'm out. That's it. Me, I'm gone. Finished. Yet he had no problem oh. cutting off people's okay. toes. This was one of the tortures through which Chopper made money and a name for himself. I always thought the uh, removal of toes with a bolt cutter was rather humane. As I said to a mate of my line, Patrick Driscoll, who was head of a group called the Toe Cutters in the uh, late 60s and early 70s, I thought that uh, cutting people's toes off with a bolt cutter was rather poofy. Oh, you know, I, you know, I thought it was rather effeminate. Why is that? Oh, like a blowtorch, you know? The smell of burning flesh in the air. <laughs> he claims he's never tortured or murdered an innocent person. He says there was only one group he preyed upon. Scumbags, you know, basically people I didn't like, uh, drug dealers, heroin dealers, uh, people who had um, earned their living through uh, the sale of uh, heroin, made a lot of money, killed... Okay, I'm with them so far. I mean, I'm with them. So far, we need guys like that. It's going to take out vermin. <laughs> a lot of people, uh, they had no... Yeah, go ahead, Chopper. Do your thing. I'm with you, brother. Go ahead. Right to the money. I had no money. So bugger them. Why should I stand on the footpath with me in, the, in my hand while these... these oh, I shouldn't say that. Should I? While these people drive past um, in their Mercedes coupes and... Uh... Oh, I agree. He, he is speaking to the choir right now. Now, I'm, I didn't go out and murder people and murder, but... Uh, I agree with everything he was saying. These people, you know, you walking around eating bread sandwiches and they're killing people, selling drugs and getting rich. I agree, Chopper. Good work. Uh, wearing twenty thousand dollar Rolex watches and uh, making a lot of money. Why should I? Why should I have nothing while all these dagos and wogs and assorted, uh, you know, third world brand types uh, make a fortune out of heroin? God, this brother is brutal. This brother. Listen, I love this video. Who's in it? Versetti 23. Brothers, that's this, this. I mean, you guys have been sending the best videos after I guess we complained. And you guys, you guys have really stepped up. This is probably, this is one of my best right here. I, I'm going to watch this one again. Instead of getting a job? Oh, but no, no. Perish the thought. No, I have applied for work. I have applied for work. Yeah. So, how would you describe yourself? What is the job or trade you've been doing for the last 10 years? Or garbage disposal. Mm -hmm. Garbage disposal. A sanitary engineer. 
<laughs> Good job, Chopper. Uh, wait a minute. I'm a, Sanitary engineer. Listen, I'm a fan of this guy. If you're not a bad guy, you ain't got to worry about it. But if you, you know, if you're doing the right thing, you're okay with this guy. But if you sell it, because I hate people that do that kind of stuff. You know, they ruining families' lives and what, selling dope. That's not cool. Tattoos are only part of the mutilation of Chopper's body. So you got a stab with a eight and a half inch butcher's knife, do you? What for? Uh, oh, well, you know, just all sorts of things. Twice there, mm -hmm. ice pick straight through the heart there, Stanley knife across there. Stanley knife across there, Stanley knife, Stanley knife, Stanley knife here, bullet hole here, ice pick here, Stanley knife. He's even tried to remove some of these tattoos with a blowtorch himself. The blowtorch was also his preferred instrument of torture. It's reasonably easy, he just takes a flame. Oh, I was about to say, he said he never tortured anyone, but he never tortured an innocent person. Is what he said. Okay. A foot. <laughs> Take the shoe off. Give it a tickle. Want me to show you? I'd prefer if you explained it. <laughs> in his heyday, in the. I'd prefer if you explained it. That yeah. would be me. You better be more clear, or he'll have them shoes off burning your toes. <laughs> Melbourne criminal underworld, Chopper played Russian roulette with a loaded gun for fun and money. And when I told Chopper I thought he was a sociopath... I'm not a sociopath at all. <laughs> she, you know what? She must have had him somewhere where there was like no weapons and she had like 90 bodyguards to keep this guy from just... First of all, if he's a sociopath, there would be nothing to stop him from just killing you. You gotta... Some people just gotta think before they talk. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with me. <laughs> Mark Chopper Reed has been remanded in custody and will appear in court again on June 10 when a new chapter in his life will begin. What you've just seen is only part of his story. I'll bring you a full report on the life and crimes of Mark Chopper Reed at a later date. Now, when Renee Brack joined the team, she had no idea that one of her stories would make headlines on almost 200 television stations across the United States. Now, have a listen to how hard copy America introed her first story on Chopper Reed. You'd have to search far and wide to find the most dangerous man in America, let alone the world, but meet Chopper Reed. A woman faced him down in his hideout on an island off Australia. The real Tasmanian devil. But there's one scene the Americans didn't see, and neither did viewers in Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a slug in this gun. Now, you're going to take my word for it, but there's a slug in this gun. Well, I want one shot to my head. One shot to Renee's. Are you ready, Renee? I don't think I want to play. Are you ready? You don't want to play. Bad luck. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to play with him like that. Wow. No. Well, listen, wow. I mean, that's a, woo, that's probably the best video I saw. Listen, uh, anybody got the second uh, story or, or any other story on this guy? I want to see it. This guy, this is the top guy right here. Okay, well, yeah, looks like wow. you didn't play in Press the Coach, so congratulations, wow. you didn't play yourself. But this is the end of the video, guys. If you want to see the full one, the... If you want to see the well, full thing the... without us, oh. the video is down in the link in the description below. The description is the link is in the description down below, and so is my social media. This is the end of the video, guys, and you already know the deal. Don't forget to like, comment.